Three, two, one. A blast off for the ages. And lift off of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. NASA going back to the moon for the first time in five decades. Really just surreal to be getting a front row seat to history. Launching the most powerful rocket in the world into space early this morning, kicking off its high stakes Artemis One mission. There were a few bumps in the road before liftoff, including a small hydrogen leak, a team of experts rushing in to fix the problem. This is the red crew that is specifically tasked to uh, go out and tighten some bolts on the core stage hydrogen replenish valve. NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS rocket, will send the Orion space capsule 62 miles above the moon's surface, then into orbit around the moon before splashing down on the coast of San Diego early next month. This is a test flight with test dummies, but if this succeeds, astronauts could do the same in two years. We're going back to the moon to learn, to live, to work, to create, to invent, so we can take humans. The ultimate goal of this mission? Establish a sustainable human presence on the moon by the end of the decade. It's really going to be a stretch to get the new technologies, the new propulsions, the ability to keep humans alive in a deep vacuum of space. This successful launch comes after two scrubbed attempts, engine sensor issues and hydrogen leaks causing the delays. The SLS spaceship even riding out Hurricane Nicole last week on its launch pad, but only sustaining some minor damage, according to NASA. And this really opens the door to a whole new world of space exploration. The long term goal here is to set up a base on the moon where people can actually live. At Kennedy Space Center, Rena Roy, ABC News.